Okay, so this uh, little device here is called the Russian Skyon. Uh, the Russians apparently build them, and so I decided to try it. Uh, basically, it's a little roof over some burlap that has beeswax and rosin on it here, and some swarm lure. And uh, we tried putting it on one pole like the Russians do, and uh, it, flops, it flops around too much in Nebraska. So instead, we went with a tripod. So we put it at the top of this tripod. It's nice and low and easy to get to, and you can get a swarm off of it and dump it in the hive. It doesn't catch the swarm per se, because the swarm will still bivouac here, find a new home, and then fly off to the new home. But at least they're not 60 feet up in the tree, so we don't have to go climbing ladders to get them down. We actually had one on here earlier, and uh, tried to put it in this hive over here. There's still some bees up here, but not nearly as many as there were, so I'm hoping they're all going to eventually end up down there. So this is a Russian Skyon. So the whole idea is just that when a swarm comes out, they tend to hang in a tree someplace. This is our artificial tree that we tried to make more alluring than the 60 foot up the tree limb uh, by putting some swarm lure on it, and we put some queen mandibular pheromone on it. And uh, we think we got a swarm. We got a cluster of bees anyway. Um, it's possible they got confused and thought they were swarming and there's the, man, the queen pheromone up there and maybe they didn't. We'll find out soon. But anyway, this is the Russian Skyon. <laughs> 